Ask credit, what is an odd behavior of yours you think only you do? I have noticed I often sniff when I enter a room so I don't scare people by just talking out of nowhere. Your friends probably think you've got a crippling cocaine habit. See how far ahead I can walk with my eyes closed before I get freaked out and have to open them edit, whoa thanks for the attention and the gold and silver. Walk safe. Edit two quick shout out to the two books that started me off with this behavior and may interest people with similar habits, Day of the Triffids and the Wonderful Story of Henry Sugar Edit 3 Someone complained about the length of my edits in relation to the original length of my original comment so I thought it best to put a sincere and heartfelt apology here where the highest number of people are likely to see and appreciate it. I did this in childhood. While riding a bike. Twice. I was trying to see if I could judge everything in my mind well enough to navigate the world after closing my eyes. Spoiler alert, I couldn't. Ended after about 10 seconds one time when I rode straight into a parked VW bug. The second time was down a flight of concrete stairs into a cinder block wall. Still have the scar across my forehead. In the shower, I slowly rotate to keep myself evenly warm. I do it unconsciously now like a rotisserie chicken. According to this highly unscientific poll, 6% of people do this. I have hyperhidrosis, fancy word for sweating a lot, and my t-shirts are constantly sticking to my armpits. To unstick them, I just lift my elbows up and down a time or three. Basically, I flap my arms like a chicken. Most of the time, I don't even realize I'm doing it. Imagine having a conversation with someone you have never met and they randomly start flapping like a chicken out of the blue and act like nothing just happened with no explanation. Edit, now I know the meaning of rip inbox. I don't have time to read through all of your comments today, but for everyone giving advice and suggestions, thank you. Also, thanks for the awards. I am fracken dying at this image. Talking to myself in gibberish when I'm doing something as though I were explaining what I'm doing. I imagined a guy doing the dishes and talking like someone from The Sims laughed my ass off. I throw up gang signs at my dog. Don't know why it started but I get a laugh out of it and my dog just likes the attention. Edit, while this blew up, my dog says what's bracken blood. I sing with my cat and he responds when I pause somebody once told me the world is gonna, meow I ain't the sharpest tool in the, meow I find it hilarious he also likes the attention. Every time I bend over to pick something up I pretend I just unknowingly dodged a bullet from some faraway sniper trying to take me out. Sometimes I shoot fingers guns for no reason, stop dodging. If I accidentally hit my head or something when I was little I'd pretend to be knocked out for at least 10 minutes on the floor and then slowly get up when I'd realize nobody was going to indulge my dramatic ass. Drama Queen I walk fast. When it's a crowded place, I use hand gestures whenever another person gets in my way to tell them where I will go, like I point to the left and they automatically move to the right without any awkwardness. It works more often than I expected. People tend to follow such unexpected gestures unconsciously. Humans need blinker lights. Hopefully they add in V2. I blow on my ice cream. To cool it off. I'm not really sure. I wasn't even aware I was doing something weird until my GF noticed and said, you know that's not hot right? Brain, I got this. Food very temperature, I learned from soup edit. Obligatory thank for silvers and gold. Unfortunately this comment be unoriginal I just remember laughing way too hard when I saw this the first time I just wanted to spread the joy. Carrot. Just before I'm about to write, sometimes I'll do this little circle thing in the air above the paper, like I'm revving the pen up before I use it edit, this is by far the most replies I've ever gotten on a single comment. Safe to say I'm not the only one lol also shout out to you, devious Mr. Blonde for telling me the name of this little practice, and so. I am here to say, fuck yeah I am not the only one. I rub the tip of my nose and after a while it starts to feel really nice and I get a mild sensation not unlike an orgasm. So now I've been rubbing my nose for longer than I'd like to admit. Shake my butt when I'm lying in bed. Hey you should meet my roommate. I wake up every morning to him just fast asleep but vigorously shaking his butt.
When at the library or bookstore, I sometime open a book I know I will read at some point, but not right now and read a random line at a random page. Then, maybe years later I will read the book and when I get to that line that I have forgotten all about and get the most powerful feeling of deja vu. I will remember what the world felt like, smelt like, the sensations and feelings I had while reading that lien. It's like like little gifts of memories to future me floating around in various books. That's beautiful, as someone who gets a lot of deja vu, I want to try this. I tap every time a dashed line goes past the car. It's like a perpetual game of Guitar Hero. Yay but do you use the invisible saw extending from your finger to cut down telephone poles when you're in the passenger seat? I make a valley out of pillows and blankets and sleep in the middle so I can koala hug something while laying on either side. Edit, thank you all for the awards and attention. I absolutely love the wholesome conversations about pets and pillows that unfolds below. I call it building a nest but same idea. It's the most amazing way to sleep. I miss my nest when I travel. Edit, for those of you suggesting that I just request extra pillows, you have totally missed the point. I miss my nest when I travel. There may be others like it but nothing comes close to the comfort of the authentic nest. I wiggle my right foot really fast when I'm falling asleep. E. Never be lonely anymore. I have found my sisters and brothers. I once slept next to a guy that did this while I was already asleep, it woke me up. I thought he was jerking off next to me, it was really disturbing. Sometimes when I get bored, I explain modern things to Benjamin Franklin. Music I listen to, or how my phone works, etc. Sometimes I go even further back and explain it to Socrates or a caveman. Sometimes it's philosophical, sometimes it's just stupid. I don't know why I do it, but it's very entertaining. Edit. Well, till this isn't that strange, a lot of people do it, and many of them specifically choose Benjamin Franklin as their time traveler of choice. I used to do something like that on car trips, only I'd pick a time period and imagine what a philosopher, monk or otherwise educated person from that era would be able to figure out about what I was seeing. Sometimes I wonder if there's actually people who can see into your mind, so I start thinking about really interesting things so if there is, they won't think I'm boring. I scream as loud as I can, mentally, and think of really fracked up shit. If they look uncomfortable after that, I then know that they can. I make sure to make a splash noise when I pee to make sure I'm not sleeping and pissing the bed. Has it ever saved your bed from smelling like pee? Sometimes when I'm listening to music I play a game where I tap my fingers to the syllables, if the sentence ends at the pinky or the thumb I win, if not I must continue until it ends up at one of them. I also do this, but completely randomly using random words, it doesn't have to be a song edited, it's now finger tappable edited again, now it's much better. Habit that I've had since childhood, I play with my ears, especially when they're cold, I fold them and scrunch them and can fit them into the ear canal until they unfold and pop back into form. Edit, ear ye, ear ye. Obligatory exultations of gratitude and thanksgiving to the kindness of the anonymous fellow, ears absent-mindedly scrunched and stuffed into the canal stuffers, redditors for the heretofore elusive golden and silvery goodness. Shout out to all of my brother and sister WEARDOs and the Earfolder subreddit created for us oral aberrations of the human kind. I had no idea I was not alone. Cheers. Finally one that I can relate to. Sometimes I spell a word in my head over and over until it seems like nonsense. It's called semantic satiation. I'll occasionally reread sections of a book where nothing much happens, but the characters are just chilling, it's almost like visiting friends. One of my favorite parts in all of the Harry Potter series is when Harry gets two weeks alone in Diagon Alley in Prisoner. Nothing happens, just wish I could experience that myself. Using random number generator apps to dictate how I set my daily to-do lists. When I can't decide between two things I assign them random numbers, like 68 and 14, or call them, left and right, and have someone pick one over the other. Whatever they choose I go for that thing. When I'm alone I use a RNG or coin instead. So not exactly, but same idea I suppose.
My alarm is set to 7 a.m. I can't remember when I last heard it go off, because I wake up at around 6.15, and spend some time on my phone, before unsetting my alarm and getting in the shower before 7 a.m. My alarm is set to 7 a.m. I can't remember when I last heard it go off, because I wake up at around 7.30. Each day when I come home from work, I say to my cat Bruce Wayne, Hi, honey. I'm home. Did you do your taxes? Ah, you did your taxes. In my head if my cat were a person he'd be a tax accountant or something. Every time I leave the house I remind my dog to pay whatever bill is due next. It kinda weird but I like to rub my feet against each other under the covers. It calms me down and helps me fall asleep. I do this, but unconsciously. When I'm alone sometimes I will shriek and beg for my life under my breath as if I am being murdered in order to give myself a cheap chuckle. So I'll be in the bathroom going, no God. Don't let this happen. Don't let this happen. He's stabbing me. I don't want to die. Our Father who art in heaven. And just laugh my ass off. Edit. Woke up to a 91 next to my name and immediately thought what did I do. Also thank you for gold. A a a a a a a n d we have a winner. I make weird noises and gestures when I think no one else is home. Do you also check if there are no webcam after a while when it's too weird? I have to blink an even number of times and most of the time that's not enough. I have to stop what I'm doing to keep on blinking until my mind is pleased with the right amount of even times I've blinked. Sounds like hell. I hear noises in multiples of eight. Not that I hear any sound eight times, but if there's a noise that repeats a bunch of times, I hear it in my head again and count it, using eights. Are you a musician? Being stuck in four quarters time so often, it would make sense. Deleted. Ooh, great one. I say things to myself to break a train on thought. Like, I love you, or I am sorry, or you got this, just to keep myself going on the right path. Probably be weird if someone walked in on me trying to motivate myself out loud. Positive affirmations. Good work, it's important to be nice to yourself. I got my dog Snoopy when I was 10 years and ever since he was a puppy he had this weird love for lettuce. He would go absolutely nuts for it and so whenever I had a sandwich or a burger I would give him some of my lettuce. Over the years it became a ritual that whenever I prepared any food that involved lettuce for myself, I would grab extra lettuce for him so I could toss it to him as I ate. He passed away four years ago after almost 17 years together, but I still find myself grabbing that bit of extra lettuce for him. I feel like I'm probably the only person in the world that grabs more lettuce than they need for something and then eat it while remembering his best friend that passed. Same here, I had a dog also that was nightmare. Ever since the start of my high school, he had this weird thing for flashlights. Whenever I want to use the flashlight he just runs around and it's like seeing a cat with a laser. And I was so used to flinging the flashlight anywhere whenever I'm bored and Nightmare would chase it it's been three years since he passed. I still have that habit of flinging a flashlight around. After I stopped chewing on my nails I needed a new thing for when I'm nervous, preferably something discreet. So I started pressing my nails into the side of my knuckles and then kind of pressing the hurting spot. Somehow this pain feels extremely relaxing for me, also it helps me think when I can't concentrate. I've moved to biting the skin around my fingers. It's kind of the same thing. It hurts but like a good hurt. I give objects, itches, aka I scratch it for them because they look itchy. I like that. When my girlfriend gets home, I often pretend to be dead. She then feigns shock and horror until I ultimately succumb to a fit of laughter. I try and be as inventive as possible with positioning and stuff, and I'm well aware that I could become the man who cried wolf one day. Just mix it up with other pranks. True moral of that story is that you should never tell the same lie twice, after all. I get weird compulsions that I need to touch between my pinky fingers or touch my armpit, it's more like a tickling sensation that builds until I have to relieve it by touching it. I have no idea what causes this and I haven't heard of anyone else that has to do this. Maybe some form of mild OCD. Edit. Frequency of the sensation is constant. Every few seconds, though I feel the intensity of the feeling comes in waves. I knew a girl with Tourette's that described this, but instead of touching to relieve the sensation she had to hit it. 
She was just constantly hitting herself. When a page is taking a long time to load on my laptop I rotate my index finger clockwise and it makes me feel like it makes the page load faster. There was an article here a few months ago about how moving your mouse back and forth actually made things go faster in old versions of Windows. Edit, found it. Subscribe, or don't, I don't care.